Hey guys, it's Insane Developer here. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create an expense tracker application UI from scratch in Figma. So this is going to be our first series of 2021. I hope it's going to uh, really exciting and I hope I continue to post a lot of lot of videos and for you guys. So without wasting that much time, let's get into the topic. So first of all, you need to open the Figma and you have to create a new project. So I have already created a new project and I have done some mockups here and here I also made some of the basic components which is going to be very useful for our expense tracker application. So I will explain to the each process. So this is a dashboard screen. So this is what the first screen when you open the application it will open and uh, when you just uh, uh, it by default it's going to show the, all the zeros because we don't have any transaction made so for we have to click on this floating action button so it will take you to the add transaction screen where in that screen you have to enter the title and amount and whether the transaction type is going to be income or expense and the tag it's going to be like 10 types of tags it's uh, electronics utilities food transportation medical and healthcare entertainment etc so and uh, below that we are having the date when field it's a basically the date picker and after that uh, we are having the note field so note will we have to enter the details for the transaction we made so after that we are having the add transaction button in the bottom when you click on that it will save the transaction so now you will able to see these are all the we have split it our dashboard into like three types of four types of uh, components so one is called the total balance the total balance component will display the overall total balance which you are having in your current account right now and uh, the income so we are going to show what are the incomes you have made transactions so that's going to be calculated and displayed overall value here and the expense so we are going to show the all the expense it's like exactly same like our uh, income and uh, below that we are having the recent transaction card so what that recent transaction so whenever you create a new, new transaction that transaction will appear here so by default we are going to show only the four or five uh, recent transaction if you just want to view all the transaction then you have to click on view all so for example in case if you just want to click on uh, get all the income so then you have to click on that this uh, income card so it will take you to this uh, income detail screen where you will see the total income as well as the each income transactions which have been made so yeah i think this is a basic flow which uh till right now so without wasting that much time let's convert this low fidelity prototype into high fidelity so it's like real application so let's get started so i'm just dragging this down a bit and just click f to select the frame and i'm selecting this google frame and i'm going to name this frame as uh dashboard screen and i'm going to give the background color as f9 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 and now just switch to assets so we have actually made some components right so i'm just dragging down so it's called toolbar component and i'm going to change this to just just let it be and now we are having this total balance card so i have made some components here so when you just drag and drop you have to just drag and drop so so i am giving 12 pixel spacing here and now you have to duplicate this and then go to right and choose income card so we are having this income so we are showing this and i'm going to duplicate this so now we are going to uh, change this icon type to expense now we are uh, mentioning it as an expense and income so we are differentiating uh, uh, those uh, income and expense with icons and colors yeah that's cool man then we have to change this title to income and this one to expense so then we have to change this to plus and we have to add minus to this so now you will see um, we are having two text views here. We'll change this uh, type recent uh, transaction, and it's going to be subtitle semi bold. And I'm just copying this paste, duplicating this, and we are going to change the caption regular, and it's going to be in blue color. 
just change the view all and pull so it's gone okay now we are having this transaction card so whenever you are making new transaction we are going to show that so where is that i think this one okay so now just change to transaction queue and yeah now i'm going to give the t's because it's a spacing here so you will be able to see now the title and the tag which we are collecting from each transaction and according to the tag we are changing the icons here so and this is like uh, we are mentioning like expense or income we are colors so i think i'm going to duplicate this duplicate duplicate just select everything and make it as center alignment and now i'm going to change those things uh, for example i'm just going to change the color uh, okay so now i'm going to remove this look minus to plus and minus to plus because it's since it was an income and we can also change the icon by uh, uh, this like something like this so yeah so we have uh, successfully completed our dashboard screen now we have to just duplicate this and i'm going to remove those all things and just let it be okay so i think we are going to just remove this all incomes all all incomes so now we are having this and uh, so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to duplicate this okay so this is going to be income screen so it can be both our income or expense income or expense so this screen will be shown when you just click on this total income so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to change with the okay so when you click on this small pop-up will come and it will uh, filter will come you can just switch between income or expense here and i think that's amazing and now we are going to uh, add the add transaction screen add a transaction screen so just delete everything and I'm going to change this color change this toolbar to with back and this is going to be okay add transaction so now um, oh, we are uh, so we have to add the input here so just switch to input and i'm just dragging the input here and i'm going to uh, reduce this size let's go to i think we can remove this background and uh, so now we have I enter the title so I'm just selecting everything and make it as tidy up it's going to be have 40 pixel spacing and below that we are going to add another button here so just drag and drop the button and you will be able to see the transaction which has been made so so now it's this text is going to be button where is that all caps add 
transaction. So we have completed this add transaction screen. So just a little bit and just a little bit. And what's the size? Now you can able to see this is what the before and this is what the after. So this is an income or screen. So this is the after screen and this is the add transaction screen which you have made. So yeah, I think we can move a little bit up to the top. Okay, so. So we have made that so now we have to just uh, duplicate this and this is going to be a dark mode and I'm just selecting everything and make it as night mode select everything and make it as night mode and select this one two one two and for Toolbar, I didn't make any dark mode version, so it's it's easy actually. You have to click on this and just change it to night and just change invert the colors which you have used. This is going to be white, this is also going to be white, and the white is going to be this one okay so now you have to just switch to night you can able to see on uh, the dark mode and I think we can improve this dark mode by what just select any card and change this dark mode to somewhat like blue shade, blue shade. this color and do this also so now if you just go back okay so we need to change this color to this one and we have to like give a lighter shade so now we have to change this it's color So we have our uh, change successfully changed this and same thing applicable to this also. Um, where's that? Night. And it's going to be night. It's going to be one two one two one two. This is also going to be night. Just change the color to white okay I think so now we have to change this color also tonight and just switch to night that's all Oh, we need to yeah, type this. So this is going to be tag, and this is going to be pen. Inactive with, inactive with icon. So I think we didn't make any darker 
Mark Bosch This is going to be dropped on arrows. Oh, okay. And I think we need to change this to I think we can even improve this background color to this and we can just some sort of like this some sort of like this and uh, just copy this x code and boom and we can just uh, change this color to night since it was so now you have to add our floating action button so what i'm going to just uh, drag and drop this and change to FAB and right align this here and I'm going to copy this copy the same I'm going to do the same I'm going to do the same and just select both of this and it's going to be day a little bit darker so now you can able to see how we have made this uh, UIs for our application from this to this and then this so i think we can also improve this uh, background color so i'm going to switch to main component here i'm going to change the background color for all this x code i don't know whether it works but i think this is going to be okay So I'll just paste this and okay. Now let's come back. Yeah, you see, it's look amazing right now. So all the pixel perfect UI is ready for our expense tracker application, and you can be able to see. From this, we have changed to this. From this, we have changed to this. And from this, we have changed to this. And we are also created this dark version for this application. And I think that's enough. I hope we all completed this UI part for our expense tracker application. In this next tutorial, we are going to see how to set up this Android project for upcoming videos. And in case we just like the video, just give us a thumbs up and you want to give some suggestion, always free to use comment section to express your thoughts. Until unless, it's bye from Insane Developer. Bye.